We move on to the Canadians, Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget. Fifth after the short dance. Just about a point off the podium right now, but as we saw with that tweet earlier, dealing with some bumps and bruises. Ribs for her, knee for him after a crash into the boards during warm-ups. These two, if they can finish in the top two, would get themselves a spot at the Grand Prix Final in three weeks' time in Japan. This is their second event. Competing with this free dance, Je suis malade, a program that they competed previously. They've gone back to this program. I think their best free dance ever, and I think a smart decision. The question for this program is, is how mentally tough can they be? They have some ground to make up, so the pressure is gonna be on. strong so far. A well done step sequence there. Their greatest strength is their raw emotion. Let's see if they can tap into that now that they've completed the most difficult element, the twizzles. Incredible strength there at the end of the program. Wow. Well, that's a free dance. That was a free dance. And chills for me. I think 
I, I have to almost wonder if coming into this program feeling a bit desperate after the mistake in the short dance didn't allow them to have that raw emotion which really this program needs and you know they're such they're so strong there's such a beautiful couple and I think the the contrast of that with just raw emotion I I, I don't think there's a better way to describe especially Caitlin just the way that she dives into the movements and and her relationship with the music and with Andrew it, it brings it all together and, and absolutely the reason why this was the right choice for them to go back to this free dance and, and why it's the, my favorite that, I, that I've seen them perform. Uh, you saw just how emotional she was right after the performance. Starting this free dance just a point off a podium spot. This veteran team that's been together for over a decade now. And this is their first appearance at the Grand Prix of France in a decade. Coming off a second place finish in their first Grand Prix event at Skate Canada. If they can somehow get up into a top two spot after this free dance here and finish second or better here at the Grand Prix of France, they'll book a spot at the Grand Prix final in Japan. And their elements were all very, very well done. I, I'm sure it's difficult to go back to this program, but in some ways it's it's gotta feel nice. And as I mentioned with Maddie and Evan, what the teams that are just on the outside of Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer and, and Gabrielle and Guillaume, what what they need to accomplish in these programs, because we know that they're they're technically capable, they're strong skaters. What they need to leave us with is something memorable, something where we can look back on this competition. If someone brings up, oh, you know, the Grand Prix in France, what, what do you remember from that? And and I'm going to be able to say <laughs> the emotional performance that Kaylin and Andrew put out there. You know, I'm not necessarily going to remember if their twizzle sequence was exactly perfect or if the lift was you know, had as much speed going out of it as it did going in, but I am going to remember the emotional impact of their performance combined with that incredible music. Caitlin actually from Houston. Andrew from Waterloo, Ontario. They train in the U.S. in New Jersey. Two-time world medalists. A second and a third at the World Championships in 14 and 15 back-to-back -back seasons. And their score here is going to put them into first place. Total score just shy of 177 for Weaver and Poget. Considering the bumps and bruises, not bad for the Canadians. So they now lead over the Italians with the French couple Abakini and Tyrone in third.